Hi, I'm Eric Franklin, and we are now going to work out our pelvic floor in a dynamic way. Why could this be important? Well, a lot of people have issues with their pelvic floor, either uh, towards uh, incontinence or maybe even too much tension. So if your pelvic floor is tight, uh, you're also going to have tight hip joints, uh, you're going to have a tight lower back. It's also not good for running, for example, or for dancing. One way we could exercise the pelvic floor is simply to stand here and contract it, hmm? which is called an isometric contraction and then letting go again. But honestly, if you would go to a gym and your trainer would suggest to you to work out the biceps simply by contracting and releasing it, you probably would be a bit disappointed. Yes, will that do something for the muscles? Yeah, it will, but I think we can do this much more dynamically and for that we need to lengthen and shorten the pelvic floor muscles. So where are they located? Well, obviously at the bottom of the pelvis. They stretch between the tailbone here and the lower sacrum and the front of the pelvis. There's a structure here called the, the levator ani and of course it's muscle and connective tissue. Then there's the perineum which runs from side to side and we want to get these muscles going by moving the bones of our pelvis. Just like we would train the biceps by moving our elbow, we want to move the bones of our pelvis a little bit to train the pelvic floor muscles dynamically. For this we have to do some very specific movement involving our hip joints and also what's called anterior posterior rotation of the pelvis. If you anteriorly rotate your pelvis, your sitting bones will move apart and the tailbone will move back. If you posteriorly rotate your pelvis, the sitting bones will come together and your tailbone will move forward. That means in anterior rotation you get a lengthening of the pelvic floor muscles, in posterior rotation you get a shortening of the pelvic floor muscles. So any kind of movement in the tailbone sacrum or sit bones will train your pelvic floor. So let's get going. First exercise, take your hands and find your sit bones. It's easiest to do by flexing your hips. Hold your sit bones, bend your legs and feel how your sit bones come closer together when you posterior rotate your pelvis and go further apart when you anterior rotate your pelvis. So let's do that a few times. Sit bones together as you posterior rotate sit bones apart as you anti-rotate and sit bones together and apart and you will surely be feeling the pelvic floor muscles engaging, contracting and lengthening. So we're shortening and lengthening the pelvic floor muscles. The lengthening is not a letting go. The lengthening is a so-called eccentric contraction. In other words, it's a working lengthening contraction. We're going to do this a few times. Sit bones apart, sit bones together pelvic floor lengthening, pelvic floor shortening, pelvic floor lengthening, pelvic floor shortening, pelvic floor lengthening and shortening. Next move, I love this one, very effective to train your pelvic floor. We do this with one leg at a time. So I'm going to start with my right sit bone. I find the sit bone, then I turn the right leg in, bend the right leg, stretch out like that and I really feel a stretch in the right side of the pelvic floor. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the left, stretch out that left sit bone and I'm pulling that sit bone out, assisting the movement with my hands so the tactile support will give you a clear idea of what you need to do. So sit bone out and in, so the sit bone goes out and I push it back in, sit bone out and in, sit bone out. I know this looks very different than a usual workout but it is after all a dynamic workout for your pelvic floor. Let's do it a few more times, out and in, out and in and last time out and in, out and in. Okay, let's rest, notice the results and what you may discover is that you feel a sense of lift in the pelvic floor, uh, perhaps even your shoulders are relaxed, your spine feels lengthened, you feel better alignment uh, of your pelvis over your legs, so a lot of benefits. Great dynamic workout for your pelvic floor. And if you perform this exercise and you have a good experience, then please leave a comment below. 
And of course, you're always welcome to visit my website, frankandmethod.com, and sign up for my free newsletter and receive more wonderful ideas on how to exercise mind and body. See you next time.